Hi, this is Kevin King with Pinehurst Websites, and today I'm going to go over how to create navigation menus in Shopify. This is uh, just recently has changed in Shopify, uh, the way that you create the navigation menus and drop downs. Uh, part of this is going to deter be determined by the theme that you have, and I have a development store right here with some navigation menus I've already created. And what I'm going to do is create a new menu and then put some drop downs so that it has a drop down underneath of it like this. So what you want to do is go to your admin and then from the admin on the left hand menu you want to go to online store and you go to navigation and then you're going to see uh, your menus over here. These are going to be listed alphabetically so F comes before G so the footer menu is here and then uh, we've got the main menu which is going to have everything across the top here and generally what you want to do is you want to add that top level menu on your main uh, menu so if you click on main menu you can see all the items that are on your main menu here and at the bottom you can add a menu so let's add one called new drop down And so when you create a menu, you can connect it to uh, the home page. So if you click on that menu, it just goes back to the home page. You can collect it to the search bar, so it will open up the search page. You can collect it to any one of your collections, any one of your products, or all products. Uh, you can collect it to, uh, connect it to a page. That could either be a page that you've created under pages over here on the left under online store, or this could be a page off of your website where you just enter a URL for a page and then of course you can connect it to a blog post. So it's pretty simple. I'm just going to connect it to home right now and now I can take this menu, you see I have new drop down menu and this is what's new in Shopify. I could make this a sub menu of one of my other menus so I currently have this drop down right here and I could just drop it into uh, this sub menu actually it's now under necklaces and, uh, but if I move it over, then it's part of this drop down. See how that little uh, blue circle has moved and see how it moves to the left. So this puts it directly in the drop down for jewelry. So let's just save that. And when you're checking it on the website, you will just reload the page. I'm gonna reload this page. And now when I click the drop down, I'm going to see new drop down here. Now this would just go back to the home page, so it's not moving anywhere. So I'm going to see uh, if you had um, this as a, um, if you have this menu on a different theme, I believe you could now put it underneath of, say, necklaces, for instance. But let's just take a look what happens when we do that. So if we go and we reload this, so your theme should have to support, see necklaces is not showing it now as a drop down, but if, you're, if your theme supported submenus, then it would show it on here. So I can take it to a theme that supports submenus. Let's just see if I happen to have one on here. And let's see what I've got on here. I know the retina, see I have this on as a trial. So I'm going to take a look at this. And this theme does support submenus, and there's quite a few that do. But now if I go into jewelry, see how necklaces has that submenu underneath there? So this makes it very easy to construct your navigation menus. So uh, you can have menus and submenus. Um, and how that menu is going to display is going to be determined by what kind of um, what kind of uh, coding you have in your theme? So most of the free themes they only support what are called straight down navigations. So it would only allow these three things, and it would not have that additional sub menu pop out like that. So let's go back over to uh, our themes again and go back to customize the theme that we actually have. And then when you look at this, you see it does not have the ability to have that subcategory under here. But let's say we want to just create a straight drop down under this menu. So if we go back to navigation, we go to main menu, and we're going to take that 
Under jewelry, you see there's an arrow there now. That means there's a sub menu, uh, a sub menu underneath of that. So if we go back to jewelry, and now we see necklaces has a sub menu as well. So if I want to just pull this back into the main menu, see I've got to get this line so that it comes. This see how this just came over to the left here. Now. It's that little blue circle uh, that comes over to the left. And when it's to the left, it's in, in or in line with the edge of this, then it will be straight down. And when this little circle goes to the right, that means that it's going to be a submenu under necklaces. And you can see the drop down comes up. So it's very simple like that. So now let's pull this out to the main menu so that it's actually not part of these but it's on the main menu right here. So now it's in the main menu. Now let's make a drop down underneath of this. And now what you can do is you can click on this. And used to be you would have to go in and create a new drop down menu, but now you can just go and say, I want a drop down or sub menu. Sub menu one, and then I can. I'm just going to connect these to the home page for right now, and I'll do uh, add this. So I can take the sub menu one. I don't have to go to a separate menu, is what you used to have to do in Shopify. Now I can just say I want this to be a sub menu of the drop down, and now I have the option to just drop add it from right here. Another sub menu. So now I'm going to go sub menu two. And then I'm just going to connect this to a product that I have on the site. So I have a product right here. I'm going to connect it like that. And if I want, I could connect this uh, menu to something else. Um, so I could connect it to, let's just say I'm going to connect it to a product as well. So you have to delete what's in there. And then you can say, I'm going to connect it to, I have a collection in here. I'm going to connect that to bracelets. And now let's go ahead and save this in the upper right hand corner. Now, if we go back and reload this, now we have new drop down. We've got our sub menu one, which goes to the collection, and then we have sub menu two, which actually goes to the product page. So it's that easy to create menus and to create sub menus, and to basically you can drag and drop your menus to position them where you want. So this is a a much more simplified improvement over the way menus had to be connected before in Shopify. So go on to Shopify and try this out and uh, I think you'll you'll be happy with uh, the ease of creating menus and connecting them to uh, locations on your website. So if you wanted to uh, connect this to a a URL, you can connect it to a URL on Shopify or you can connect it to any URL. So say you could go directly into uh, this menu and then we could uh, we could go to pages and now you can just paste the link to where you want it and this does not have to be on your site. It could be any link uh, could be any link um, for that. So let's just say this would be a page. And now it just goes to the link. So we could link it to another page as well. So that's all you need to do and uh, you will have your drop down menus and, be, and you will have that ability to have uh, multiple drop down menus if you're using a theme that supports those multiple drop down menus. And, um, and then if you go to uh, pinehurstwebsites.com, I do believe I have a blog on some, uh, some of the themes that do support drop down menus. If you go to the blog, let's just see. I believe there's um, let's just 
just see if we have one that has themes, drop down menus, debut, maybe called sub menus. There it is. I believe this article right here, which is called uh, Easily Create Nested Menus on Shopify Website, has a tutorial and it also lists a number of themes that you can use to create uh, sub menus. So that can be very useful as well. But there's quite a bit of new themes out there uh, that are, and, and this video on this is probably from a, a couple years ago. So it's going to be done differently to create drop down menus now. You want to do it like the video that I just showed you. Thanks for tuning in, and you can find out more on my site at pinehurstwebsites.com. And uh, you can go to blogs and tutorials and find a lot of good information on growing your Shopify store. Thanks for tuning in. This is Kevin King with Pinehurst Websites.